real iron. Ready some tankers with guests. Geralt! Siri! When I learned Geralt had found you. Glad to see you in one piece too, Dandelion. Where have you two been? Went to care more in first, and Valor. Leave him alone, Sultan. Can't you see their beat? In fact, you look terrible. Like you could really use some rest. Gladly take some. Point me to a room. Of course. Come on, little swallow. I'll take you. Let's meet later, Geralt. I have a little matter to resolve. I'll freshen up, then await you in the square in Gildorf. Right. Anything happened while we were away? Uh, pretty Polly came down with a fever, that oyster caught a knife between the ribs, and they're late delivering the sodden triple meat. Dandelion. Lodge of sorceresses. Triss and Yen were supposed to gather the remnants. They're working on it. Triss is upstairs, waiting for you. Yennefer's gone to crippled Kate's. Yen? That port side dive? Why? Didn't inform me. Imagine that. Ah, and that elf of yours moved into the ruby suite. Told me to tell you he's waiting too. Gave him your best room? He didn't exactly ask. I prepared another room for him, but he blew past me and locked himself in the ruby. Hasn't peeked out since. Barely eats. Drinks only water, and the only thing I've heard from him is, I wish to know when Windblade and Zeriel arrive. Thanks. Looks like I'll have my hands full. your mind? You went after Imlarith by yourselves? To the Sabbath? How could you put Siri in danger? Siri had to do it. I couldn't let her go alone. You'd have done the same in my boots. Besides, I'd never let anything happen to Siri. You know that. burning pyres on the way into town, non-humans on them. Things grow worse by the day. No mage is left in the city, so the hunters had to find someone else to victimize. We need to resolve everything as quickly as possible and leave Novigrad. Any success with the Lodge? Anyone out there willing to help? It doesn't look good. Ida outright refused, while Francesca won't budge from her little realm with a war raging. We don't know about Fringilla. Haven't been able to contact her. And the others? Kira, Margarita, Philippa? Kira? I thought you of all people would know. Few can refuse a sorceress. And Kira Metz certainly had her ways. But when she demanded the Mage Alexander's notes, I had to turn her down. Kira needed that. As she needed the impetus to start anew, she found it. Where she least expected to. Years later, known for discovering the cure for the Catriona Plague, she was thankful none remembered her time in hiding as a village witch. I've seen worse matches. Hope things work out for them. I hope they work out for us, and we actually find Philippa and Rita. Know where they are? Yennefer's looking into Rita's whereabouts. I have to figure out where Philippa is. Know what Jens found out? You'll need to ask her. I've been busy trying to find Philippa. So, learn anything? A few things that could be interesting. Prefer the long version or the short? 
tell me everything. I want the details. After fleeing Loch Mui, Philippa ended up here in Novigrad. She sought help from her former lover, the sorcerer Arthur de Vlister. De Vlister rings a bell. Philippa had made a fool of him once. Arthur was out for revenge. He convinced her she'd be safest as an owl. She transformed, and he placed a dimelidium band on her leg. The mage hunt started shortly afterwards. Sadly, Arthur fell victim. They auctioned off his estate. Just so happened a certain dwarven acquaintance of ours stumbled on the auction. Zoltan. Huh. So Philippa was here under our noses the whole time? Was, precisely. Zoltan lost her in a card game a few days ago. Yep, that's Zoltan for you. A man showed up here, fleeced Zoltan Bear, then proposed they play for the Owl. Naturally, he won, then politely thanked Zoltan for the game and left. Who was it? Know where he lives? He's not from here. No one knows him. Great. We got any leads? We have this. That Philippa the Owl's feather? Thinking divination? Specifically hydromancy, and a form of sortilage. We need a fountain where we won't be disturbed. One outside the Passiflora could work. Good idea. Let's go. We're here. Nice and quiet. Shouldn't be any disturbances. Let's begin. Observe the water's surface carefully. We can't let anything go unnoticed. Graham and Weir. Robert Nagelle. All failed. Hey. What's that? Uh, nothing. A preliminary image. What? Stop interrupting. I have to focus. Graham et Duir, Diagnis Kerle es Pirschena a es Kleis. Looks familiar. A bathhouse. I know the place. Dijkstra. He has her. At his bathhouse. Might have guessed as much. That was the recent past. Anything might happen to her in Dijkstra's hands. Let's go. Not so fast. The first image. What was that? Nothing. Really. Don't brush me off. I know how hydromancy works. Image appeared because you're thinking about it. It was... King Tancred asked me to become his court advisor in Kavir. You mentioned Kavir in the lighthouse. I understand why now. Did you accept? Only a fool would refuse. Tancred's been supportive of the mages from the start. The evacuation was only possible with his help. Now he wants to revive the council and the conclave, and I'm to head both. The vision was of a house, not a royal court. It's the house that awaits us in Pont Vanis. When we're done here, when all this is over, once we've defeated the hunt and Ciri's safe, I'd like us to live there, together. I'm surprised. I don't really know what to say. You don't need to decide right away, but I'm glad you know. I was afraid how you'd react. It's a big deal. We settling to a permanent home? If you don't want this, I'll turn it down. What I really want is to be with you. To, to be together, and... Triss. Yes? We'll be together. And you don't need to turn anything down.
I'll tell you the details later. Right now, we need to get Philippa. Right. Come on. We get there in time. I hope Dijkstra hasn't already hurt her. The possibilities are many. It could be Dijkstra that got hurt. Well, not likely. Dijkstra never forgave her for sending assassins after him. And Philip is weakened, no doubt about it. Weakened, maybe, but still a powerful sorceress. If Dijkstra's men take the Dimeridium off, Philip will kill them before they can say, oh shit. Well? Stay out of my way. Well? Well? Watch out! Guess they underestimated Philippa. You were right. She must have changed back into human. I sense strong. Surrender! This place is a maze, witch! You'll never get out! Goddamn fools! After her! We'll handle this. Oh no, no, no! The sorceress stays here! We're going together. Not a chance. It's fine, Geralt. I'll stay. In case she tries to flee this way. Fine. Be right back. Her stomach aches like she just ate a hundred old drowners. But no one. Drowner make egg very bad. Let me pass. I can help her. But let pass go. With your help. I want to help you. Help me die. Don't hold your breath. I'm not a 
Squirming. If I wanted to kill you, you'd be long dead by now. What do you want? To torment me? To watch others do so? I need your help. Betray me, and I will... Relax. Not planning on it. Triss is outside. She'll explain everything. Deepest apologies, but the lady will come with me. Dijkstra, I don't have time for this. Get out of my way. I've no quarrel with you, Geralt, but Phil and I have lots to talk about. Remember the assassins you sent after me, darling Phil? A grave error. Such matters ought to be handled personally, as I will now demonstrate. Not gonna demonstrate a damn thing. I need her. And I don't give a flying fuck. I've awaited this moment forever, so very sorry but I care as much about your plans as I do about the snows of Mahakam. Philippa will come with me and answer for all the courtesies she's paid me. Always knew the value of information, Dijkstra. Which is why I don't believe you have anything I don't already know. The Emperor of Nilfgaard wasn't able to sway the Trade Corporation. Opposition nibbling at his arse, eh? Hmm. Seems the White Flame won't dance on the graves of his foes much longer. His daughter has returned. The Emperor wants to abdicate, give her the throne. Cyrilla? Impossible. This... This could shift the tide of war. Provided, of course, you're not mistaken. Emperor himself told me. So, information's first hand. Emir's a lying whore. When it comes to his daughter's future, doubt it. You've no idea of the importance of this information. A change on the Imperial throne could bring the war to an end. Radovid's sure to be delighted. If Amir sounds the retreat, there'll be no force left that could possibly stop that madman. Especially in light of our bloody aborted plan. You didn't actually believe you could do it. Radovid's crazy, but he's no idiot. Knows all too well there are dozens out there who'd... Silence. Do I understand you correctly? You want to kill Radovid? <laughs> well, Ziggy, I am impressed. Doubted you still had it in you, frankly. Sadly, as you well know, Radovid has sought refuge on his boat. He's guarded so closely, I'd not be at all surprised to learn he shares his bed each night with two sentries. You know too much, Phil. Yet one more reason why you must die. Think you might want to hear her out. Dare say Philippa despises Radovid at least as much as you do. 
I'm content someone apart from myself has finally gotten the idea to rid the world of the degenerate. Save your praise for others. I couldn't give a shit. Currently, only two individuals stand to draw Radovid off his boat. Emir and myself. You'd agree to be the bait? I fear you'd be hard-pressed to convince Emir to dangle himself as such. Fat fucking chance. Geralt, I wouldn't trust this cunt to hard-boil my eggs. Rightly so, I'm terrible with eggs. But think on this. Radovid hears that you've captured me. Will you not throw caution to the wind? Will you not jump at the chance to kill me, personally, with his bare hands? Out of the question! Geralt, get her out of here before I burst her testicle! And then... Then we must meet, with our friends. I've leased a warehouse port side. Be sure to come. Sorry to take so long, but I had to deal with the guards. Hello, Triss. Philip, are you alright? I've been better. I'll get you out of here. Gonna be alright? Yeah, thanks for your help. Looking for something in particular? Um, pretty little trinket. Want to give someone a present? When I was last in Novigrad, I had my share of troubles. So I heard. A few people helped me then. Others, not so much. Now I mean to repay them both. Coming with? Lead the way. We need to go to Temple Isle. Don't remember you being religious? Nor am I now. Let's go. Almost there. Where are we going exactly? To see Horson Jr. Bit late for that. He's dead. I asked Sultan. And he said Horson's alive and well on Temple Isle. I was there. Stuck a sword in his gut. Your hand must have slipped. Because it seems he's recovered. Why are you doing this again? I want to look him in the eyes. What then? I don't know. Depends what I see. What? Here to see Mr. Wiley. Mr. Wiley's expecting important guests, so bugger off. You... you... CHANCE! Make a deal, maybe? Uh... Yeah... Yeah... A deal. Go on upstairs. Boss is waiting. That was... strange. To say the least. I wonder what they're doing. We'll know soon enough. Do we have here? Finally found your little ward. Took your sweet fucking time. Seems in fine health to me. Ah, because you thought you killed me that time. Surprise the fucking prize. Shut your trap, witch! Or somebody fills that owl for you. Enough! I'll finish what you started. Whoa, whoa, stop! It's me, Dudu, Dudu Bieberfeld. You really didn't recognize me? Do 
Wait, Siri. After the heist, after Dijkstra's vault was emptied, you vanished. How'd I find you? Quick. Butcher's yard. The mama's play. Priscilla's. You dragged me onto the stage. Sheathe your sword, Siri. It's doo-doo. Gods! You give me quite the scare. Not wise to play games with a witcher. Horson Jr.? Was there no one else you could impersonate? Once we'd fled, I'd no idea what to do. I could only hide for so long. They'd find me sooner or later. It wasn't our decision. We knew he was dead, but not many others had caught on. That was my chance. No one mourned for Horson Jr. In all his miserable life, he'd never helped a soul. Amusingly, once dead, he became a useful member of society. They say everyone deserves a second chance. Seems true enough. Orson got his, in a way, sharing it with a Doppler named Dudu. That was courageous, Dudu. I'd never expect it from you. Neither would I. Oh, by the way. You've no idea at the relief I feel you're alive and well. And I'm relieved I didn't slit your throat. Be careful. You could get found out. Wiley's men are too stupid to catch on. His colleagues ain't much better. Mind you, even you were fooled. And that might have ended very badly for you. True. I get a bit carried away at times. But mostly I'm careful. Shows an interesting line of business. Dudu's always had a head for numbers. What's a few brothels and casinos? He'll manage. That's the thing. I don't need to. Two weeks after Wiley died, I announced I'd seen the light of the eternal fire. Sold all the illegal enterprises. I'm a blue water trader now. Horson's men didn't protest? I've contacts in the guilds. Run a thriving trade. Profits are twice what they were before. To Wiley's men, a purse twice as heavy means twice as much respect for the men handing it to them. Time's up. Right. We must still go by the Golden Sturgeon. It was nice to see you both. And take care of yourselves. You too. So long, Dudu. Why are we going to the Sturgeon? See a girl who helped me once. Who might that be? Friends of Dandelions. Her name's B. She's a waitress at the Golden Sturgeon. Help me contact Dandelion. I wish to thank her. She risked a lot. Risked a lot? How's that? The Temple Guard were breathing down my neck. If she'd been seen with me, she might have been flogged or worse. Always getting into trouble. I take after you. I asked for fresh fish. Mm. Watch this. Fresh fish. You call this Lala. fresh with his googly eyes and her nose kill. Oh. I visited a city once that was very much like Novigrad, but the people there were much taller and had dark skin. This somewhere in Zeracania? No, in another world. Hmm. What's it like, hopping between worlds? Anything like passing through a portal? Or different? Hmm, a bit different. It was hard going at first. I wasn't very good at controlling it. So I had to concentrate intensely and hope I didn't land in the crater of an active volcano. The training I did with Avalar was very helpful. Now, I merely think of the place I wish to travel to, close my eyes, and it's done. Gave you a chance. Should have taken it. I spit on anything you give me. You'll regret that, you cow. Mind your manners, you're talking to a lady. Stay out of this. This is not your concern. Sure it is. 
You're a fucking freak too. He is. Very dangerous at that. The butcher of White Orchard. What'd he do there? Trim the trees? Eugen. He slew half the village. Dragged the bodies of the alderman and his wife behind his horse to Novigrad. Let's get out of here. That's pretty good advice your friend's offering. S -s Sorry. Thank you. They seem more determined this time. You shouldn't cross them, I told you. I'm to bar non-humans from this establishment because some thugs threaten me. Not likely. It's so good to see you, B. And you, Siri. Who's your charming companion? Geralt of Rivia. That Geralt! <laughs> Very nice to meet you. I've heard so much. Really? What, for example? For example, how you've saved her from woes so many times she's lost count. And how you always know how to make her laugh. That's Siri, of course. Other ladies, however. B, I'm standing right here. <laughs> all right, all right. So, what brings you here, darlings? I wanted to thank you for everything. Oh, stop. Anyone would have done the same in my shoes. Not many would have done it with such courage. Thank you. This is for you. A trinket to remember me by. Oh, my. It's beautiful. Thank you. So, will you stay for stew? And keep slaughtered a piglet this morning? Thanks. But we must still visit Far Corners. Ah, off to see Valdo, eh? Well, shan't stop you then. They'll feed you properly there too, no doubt. Farewell to you both. And do take care of our witcher. I will. So long. Bravo, witcher! I've material for another battle. So, your friend, B. What about her? Nothing. Seems nice. Geralt. You're terrible. What'd I say? What's there to see in far corners? The camp of some traveling circus performers. Non-humans. When I came here before, I wanted to contact Triss. Life was hard. I quickly spent nearly everything the Baron gave me. Triss and I never met, because the Temple Guard showed up. I was a wanted woman afterwards. Triss didn't try to contact you? How could she? She didn't know anything. In fact, she thought she was to meet another alchemist wanting to flee Novigrad. I preferred not to put her in danger. I was being hunted. Had not a copper to my name. Then I met Valda. He and his troop helped me. Then introduced me to B. And through B, I found Dandelion. You know the rest. Where's this friend of yours? There! Baldo! Wild Hunter, take me at last. Siri, you devil incarnate, where have you been? Come here, darling. Hello, what's this? Brought your granddad? Agar, hey, you're incorrigible. Allow me to introduce Geralt of Rivia. Ah, greetings. We've heard heaps about you. Likewise, and thanks for helping Siri. Oh, we had no choice. Found it hard to refuse a lass like her. Well, good you're here. Come in the nick of time. Would have been gone by tomorrow. You're leaving? Better start resettling non-humans shortly. We'd rather stay ahead of events. I understand. Problem is, we just lost two horses, and another two are too weak to haul anything. Ah, we'll manage somehow. We don't leave till tomorrow, so naught to worry about today. Yes, for some. I'm off to see a merchant. There's a chance I can trade our knacks for a healthy horse. Wouldn't want Valdo to have anything to worry about tomorrow. Hmm. Any way we can help? Oh, don't fret about us. We always get by somehow. Right, Siri? What brings you here? I've come to apologize. I disappeared so suddenly, then 
Ah, pish posh. What matters is your back and your whelp. This is for you. All that you loan me, plus a small premium. Siri, you know I can't take this. And you know I shan't let you refuse. Hmm. I know. We'll make it the pot for a wager. <laughs> Do you still race? Of course. Then I challenge you. Geralt, will you join us? Gladly. A man after my own spirit. <laughs> Come. Geralt, choose one of these. Coming, coming. You're trailing. Watch where you're going or you'll fall. <laughs> Seems you've slowed. Just want to admire you from the side. Still beat you. I let you win. Lovely race. Well, this calls for a celebration. Stay the evening. We've several barrels of Kedwin's best. Bonfires to be lit soon, round which all will gather. This night shall be ours. Worked out nicely, don't you think? What are you talking about? You and Triss. Never expected it, to be honest. Life's full of surprises. So, how did the two of you... End up together? <laughs> With Yen, it was fight after fight. Lots of arguments, drama. Not saying it was bad, but... But what? Got to be exhausting. With Triss, it's not. I finally feel... Harmony. A calm. Feel like things are the way they're supposed to be. More wine? Thanks. I'm glad we stayed. Me too. They like you here. I like them too. I'd love to join them. Drink and race, travel from town to town, not worry a whit about anything. Something worrying you now? <sighs> what awaits us? Defeating the hunt won't be easy, but with the Lodge's support, Avalax, we can do this. I fear fighting the hunt will only be the beginning. For me, at least. What do you mean? <laughs> you promised! <laughs> In jest? Sometimes I wish I could be like them. Me too. Being a witch is a burden sometimes. As is my inheritance. I'd so like to be ordinary. Your life is yours exclusively. You choose who you are. Geralt, you know that's never been true. All because of this damned elder blood. My gift. My curse. to meet all of these powers, but it's also why I've spent my life fleeing, hiding. Then it's time to end this. Once we defeat Eredin, you'll be free. Really? Eredin's hardly alone. There are others. They have plans for me. It was the sorceresses of the Lodge once. Now it's my father. Even Yennefer. 
You're forgetting Avalach. Avalach's different. He is intent on my gift not falling into the wrong hands, not spinning out of control. It's why he teaches me, protects me. If you say so. You doubt it? There'll come a day when Avalok will ask you for a favor. Perhaps. But if so, it will be a very, very long time from now. And I'm certain whatever it is, he'll give me a choice. I will have the option to refuse. Hope you're right. That's Pablo. I plan to learn how to juggle one day. Incredibly useful skill. Finally found you two. Enjoying yourselves. Bonfires, wine, jugglers. What more could you ask for? I could name a few things I'd trade it for, but it's a life. You seem concerned. Things not go well with the merchant. Pah, lost cause. The man refused to trade. I said I'd buy. He asked three arms and a host of legs for one healthy animal. We need horses. But we'll have to find another way to get them. Ho, ho, I sense trouble. I knew you'd warm to the notion. We mean to sneak into the man's stable. With 30 head, a few more or less won't make a difference in his life. Coming with? Of course. What can I do? Gotta help those in need. Yes, yes, yes! Must say, you didn't seem the type to me. What type? Steady. Time to go. We'll meet by the stables. Excellent work! Did you see the two fools who tried to chase us? Almost tripped over their own boots. <laughs> Thanks, Geralt. That was splendid. Yeah, a nice change from killing monsters. Thanks for your help, and for visiting. It was so good to see you all again. Hang in there, and take care of yourselves. Don't forget us. So long. I must bid Valdo farewell. All right. See you at Dandelions, then. Got some things to take care of in town. See you, Geralt.
need a hanky. Gotta admit, never expected this of you. You humans have hmm, unusual tastes. How did you fare on Bald Mountain? Need to ask? You're a sage. I ask as a courtesy. A concept you clearly forgot when you left without uttering a word. Siri was in a hurry. I know, so she wrote in her letter. But that is not my concern. You eliminated Imlareth adeptly. So adeptly you might say you inspired me. Meaning? The loss of one of his great generals has weakened Eredin significantly. Two others remain. How do we get rid of them? Caranthia is a loyalist, but Gels, that is another story. He was a devoted follower of our former king. And as it happens, Eredin poisoned our beloved ruler. Regicide. Serious stuff. Take it not many know about this. Of the living? Only I. And Eredin, of course. Question is, can you get Gels to believe you? Nothing you need worry about. Fine. So what do you propose? Why, to bring Gels here? Show him the truth of what happened? Fabulous plan, if we only knew where to find him. We do. In the land of the NL. Land of the NL? You don't recall. After all, you did travel with Eredin for some time. The land of the Elder Folk. The world where we arrived centuries ago, a world that is now our home. The Red Riders come from there, and it is there where we will find Gels. Think you're forgetting something. You and Ciri might know how to travel between worlds, but me? Not so much. You clearly know there are many other worlds apart from the one where we now stand. They're linked by passages, hidden gateways that afford travel from one world to another. Of course, few know of these gateways, even fewer can locate them. Elven sages, for example? For example. One such passage will open soon near where we are, fortuitously enough. Between this noble edifice and the butcher's yard. That's our chance. Shall we go? Let's go. I know this house. Supposed to drive a godling from here. Supposed to? Decided it was harmless. Search for a place that looks like this one. We shall meet sooner or later. Mean we'll be separated? It's possible. I lack your ward's talent. Zirel is the lady of time and space. I merely know how to use this arcane knowledge to a limited degree. It's time.
Yes? Where are we? Welcome to the Diderwet Desert. There's somewhere in our world. Ever seen such canyons in your world? Come, you must go. What is this place? A very old world, thoroughly raped and destroyed. Anything live here? Mainly desert creatures, able to survive months on end without water. Oh, and large sand crabs beneath the surface. We must be careful they don't sense us. And before? Were there any people? Or elves? Do you believe humanoids have a monopoly on destroying worlds? So what did live here? Sentient monsters of some sort? Look at those cliffs. Remind you of anything? Hmm. Look a bit like the bed of a giant river. Or the bottom of a sea. Mean there were water creatures here once? No creatures. Merely a sea. Trying to say that... That there are many different worlds and even more forms of life. Many of them intelligent, much more so, in fact, than you humans. But as it turns out, not even that could stop them from exhausting all the resources of their world. To the last drop. Ah, the portal. Looks more like a ruin. Appearances can be deceiving. So what are we waiting for? For it to open. Shouldn't take but a few moments. What's going on? The sand crabs have sensed our presence. Wonderful. of power should draw from it. Ha <laughs> ha. 
hide somewhere. And I gotta find that next passage quick. Just find cover along the way. I should make it to the passage. In a place like this, someone must have lit it. With any luck, it was a certain grouchy elven sage. Snow's up to the rooftops. Wonder how long this blizzard's been blowing.
took you a while. Did you run into trouble? Uh, no. Just taking in the sights. What is this place? Feels like I've been here before. You have. You fought Eredin's projection here. Before that, Siri fought here. For you. What are you talking about? Ever wondered how you managed to leave the Red Riders? Many times, but I don't remember a thing. Siri came for you. She sensed you were in danger, tore you from the hunt's grasp, then deposited you in the woods near Kaer Morhen. Did Aradin start hunting her because of that? Because of me? Why didn't she say anything? What would it have changed? Light on the peak. Was that you? I thought it might aid your passage. After all, that is what lighthouses do. Show the way. I was hoping we wouldn't get separated. I warned you it could happen. Where'd your journey take you? Through a world whose son had just died. I barely reached the next passage in time. Going after Gels is proving quite a trek. But I still don't know why it's so important. Eredin differs from the king he killed. Power for its own sake interests him. He has little patience for bureaucracy. He spends most of his time atop his steed, leading the Red Riders. So what does he need in the capital? A good viceroy. Gels is an excellent administrator and an even better plotter. He's the most dangerous individual amongst the NL. He got any weaknesses? Yes. He's righteous. Where are we? World of the NL? No. This is Ted Dera, the time of the end. The world destroyed by the White Frost. Alas, this awaits us all, though at differing stages of our existence. So calm when you say that. Eredin succumbed to his knowledge of the Apocalypse. Fear rules him now. I'll not commit the same error. Care to clarify? Not here. Not now. Doesn't look safe here either. Let's go. This way. Next passage. When will it open? Shortly. of Awakening, formerly the Moon Palace, Gel's headquarters. <sighs> Beautiful. I'm glad to know you appreciate it. Elven architecture is a bit more sophisticated than yours. Oh! Who's this? And why are they here? I believe we're done for the day, my tulip. Be a dear and leave us alone. For I think we can agree this matter is between us and us alone, correct? Crevan of Spain, Coman Maka, and the Witcher of Rivia. Kepin. Do you like my new model? Something of Lara Doran about her, wouldn't you agree, Crevan? Her height, perhaps. Nothing more. <laughs> I see I've touched a tender spot. So let's change the subject, shall we? Care for a drink? 
Didn't come here for tea. Hmm. I must admit, you appearing here. Quite a surprise, Witcher. Incidentally, interesting choice of allies. Do you think Avalach is honest with you? Just curious. I think that even among the NL Elves, there are those capable of being decent. Naivety is a fool's blessing. I detect a shadow of impatience in your faces, it seems. So what brings you here? I've come to tell you who killed our king. You've gone through a great deal of trouble to reach me. So I must believe you've put equal effort into preparing this lie. You shall see the truth. You will dream it. You've been a neuromancer. My intuition was correct. This will be interesting. Better believe it. This way, please. Witcher Geralt. A true man of action. Might I know where we're going? To the world of the Enshe. Directly this time. Let's go, before any guards show up. I take it I needn't introduce our guest. Greetings, Cyril. So it's true. The swallow has befriended the fox. There's naught you can do to make us turn on one another. Havalach blackmailed you. Do you not remember? Tried to force you to warm our king's bed. Treated your body like a side of pork. I remember. But I also remember what you advise Eredin do with me once I was caught. And I remember what the Red Riders did at Kaer Morhen. I didn't come here to argue. The proof you promised. Where is it? You will see it. In your dream. Ah, yes. The Oneiromancer. Visions that cannot be fabricated. Do you wish to show me how Eredin murdered our king? What then? Am I to incite the NL against Eredin? Call for revolution? and proclaim Avalach our new king. You'll do what you want. If you decide to continue serving the regicide, so be it. Wouldn't even be surprised. Very well. Have your oracle summon dreams of my king's last moments. We shall all dream them to make certain there are no misunderstandings. Why not? Face him on your terms, in this world, in a place of your choosing. It's your only chance. Sail to Skelliger and find the Sunstone. With it, you will summon the Nargofair. Eredin will come too. Should he call for reinforcements, no NL will answer. 
You have done the thing most just. A new portal to Tin Alia will open. I shall stabilize it and you will return. Come with me. Just as well. Could have been bluffing. Might have just said that so we'd let him go. Damn it. We should have pressed him. Calm down. Avalok knows him better. We'll hear him out when he returns. Speak of the devil. Geralt's worried. He believes we let Gales go too easily. Can never be too careful. Agree. Yet I do believe Gels will keep his word, withhold support from Eredin. Seems to me you have a plan. Care to share it with us? Once we find the Sunstone, aided by your sorceresses and their magic, we shall draw Eredin's ship to a bay along the coast of Undvik. We will wait in ambush, lay a trap. When the King of the Hunt arrives, we will spring it and kill him. Just like that? Defeating Eredin will be no small feat but we will accomplish it. Find the sorceresses at the lodge, and we'll meet at the port. Then we sail to Skellige. Buy you a drink? I'm afraid the dishwater's as good as it gets in this establishment. Imlarith. Was that your idea or series? Spare me your lecture about responsibility. I was actually going to recite an anthem praising your glory. But if you're not in the mood... I thought you'd be angry. Angry? Why? Because you supported Ciri in her decision? Or because you fought by her side and won? What if we'd lost? We wouldn't be having this conversation. And the female part of the continent's population would be drowning in tears. You won. No point bothering with what ifs. Talk to Triss. Reconvening the lodge? It's not going so well. Dangerous times, especially for sorceresses. Each thinks five times before sticking her neck out, and I can't blame them. Hmm. Charming place. Why are you here? You'll find out soon. In the meantime, tell me about Philip. Triss and I found her and freed her. It turned out Dijkstra had her, but the situation's under control. That's a relief. So, can it tell me why you're here? I was able to establish Margarita's whereabouts, the prison in Oxenford. I also learned the identity of a man who escaped from there. He should arrive shortly. What do you know about this fugitive? I know he's the only one ever to escape from Derard. Every guardsman in the city now seeks him. Sure he can be trusted? We'll soon find out. He just walked in. Abbe Faria? 
Who's asking? We'd like to talk. Damn! Best run and get him. Unbloody think about! This demon's been wild by the day! What's he doing here? Watch me, you going in! Damn it, scaled the ladder. Guess I'm in for a roof walk. You'd agreed to meet. I said I'd found him, not that I'd spoken to him. What do you want from me? Let me be! Calm down, we just want to chat. Uh -huh. And then stick a shift between my ribs. Leave me in the gutter. Look at us. Do we look like bandits to you? Uh, no. No, not really. I'm glad you agree. Besides, You'd be worthless to us dead. So you... you shan't hurt me? No. You're gonna tell us your story, then be on your way. Uh, oh, so be it. But we, uh, we really ought to go back to Kate's. It's unwise to linger in the street. Drink up. It'll help. Thanks. What do you want? To get into Derard. Hmm. Find a hunter. Tell them you practice magic. They'll they'll lock you up lickety split. We need to get in without anyone noticing. Tell us how you escaped, then get on with your life. They say no one gets out of Derard alive. Aye, so they say. My thought? Why not try it dead? But they burn the corpses. They didn't start burning them until they'd learned an old fellow like myself had escaped. Before, they dropped the stiffs into a great pit. The pit's connected to the sewers, and the sewers empty into the river. And once you reach the river, you're as free as a fish. So you played dead. No one caught on? As a youth, I'd apprenticed with an apothecary in Silverton. Learned a thing or two about herbs. Sleeping mushrooms grew on the walls of my cell. And I found Belladonna in the prison yard. Just had to mash them together and eat the pulp an hour before evening rounds. You might have lost your life. I prefer to die on my own terms, were that to be my fate. So theoretically, we could get in the way you got out. Assuming we don't mind the company of decomposing corpses. And assuming you can squeeze through the grate. They barred the outlet to the river after I escaped. Huh. Explosives could take care of that. For half the city to hear us? I have a better plan. Oxenfurt was built on elven ruins. Which have to connect to the sewers somewhere. If we can find a way into the ruins... <laughs> we'll get into the prison. They say Dayrod's better guarded than the keep at Vicovaro. They choose the guards from among witch hunters. The worst dregs, rabid fanatics. If you only knew what they do to folk. Torture every day, the wheel, the rack. We only knew peace on holidays when they'd drink themselves blind. They're allowed to drink on duty? No, not officially, but you know how it is. See? Wasn't so hard. One last bit of advice. Find a new tavern. Everyone here knows you. Thank you. Whatever your plans, I hope they work out. So do we. So long. What he said about the guards could prove handy. True. 
Things will go more smoothly if we can get even a few of them drunk. Zoltan ought to manage it. I'll ask him. Let's meet on the Oxenfurt Bridge. Ukrainian soldier boys are so tiresome. They want it all for free. I'd give you a discount for heroic deeds. Whoa! We can go at it here. They're holding Margarita at Dayrod. Got a plan to break her out, but we need your help. What should I do? Load a wagon with as much Mahakam as you can find and drive it to Oxenford. Yennefer will give the signal. They'll drive through the gates and treat the guards. Oh, these are terrible times. Since the mage has left town, the hunters have taken to harassing non-humans. A dwarf flinging around the prison gates only stands to attract attention. Right. Didn't think of that. I'll go straight to Yen in that case. She went to find a way into the ruins beneath the city. Novigrad doesn't seem like a safe place anymore. What's keeping you here? I was keen on stopping my own enterprise, but nothing came of it. Nevertheless, I took on some debt. I'd like to blame it on the war or human treachery, but the truth is, I've got my own thick skull to blame. Rather not dwell on it, get out. Nice talking to you, Zoltan. See you later. Several. Nearest is through a well not far from here. Did you arrange any help? We'll manage on our own. Shall we begin? Let's do this. Sure the guards don't know about the passage through the ruins? Haven't planted sentries there? They haven't. How can you be sure? Novograd's hierarchs have taken great care to eradicate any and all memories of the city's elven roots. Even if anyone remembers the ruins are there, they have no recollection of how far and where they extend. And I'm absolutely certain no one's thought to place sentries there. Hope you're right. Here we are. This is it? Hmm. Boulder was plugging the well until recently. Due to an edict Hemelfart issued some years ago. But I managed to find two brawny and obliging passers-by who agreed to remove the impediment. For a modest fee, naturally. Here. What is this? Use it once you find Rita. I'll be able to pinpoint your location. Not coming? Mucking through ruins and sewers? rather leave it to the expert. Meaning you'd rather waltz in once the hard work's done. Wet clothes. Enjoy.
somewhere. This will come in handy. That ought to do it. in here. Who's that? Geralt? God, I'm hallucinating. Getting you out of here. No chance. We'll both die in here. Sheila. They captured her first. Her condition's critical. It's pointless. He'll never open it without the key. The warden keeps them with him at all times. His room is upstairs. Be right back.
All of us to their stations! Watch out! What are you doing? Yen insisted on coming. Rita! Sheila! When I get my hands on the sons of bitches... Yenna! I shan't make it. Hold on! You must hold on. <laughs> I'm dying, Yana. I'm a sorceress. Let me die with dignity. Yen, get Rita out of here. Geralt. Yen, for once, don't argue with him.
I can't pass through the portal with you both. You'll need to get out on your own. Don't like portals anyway. Go. Funny. There was a time I'd have asked you not to do this. No, you'd never have asked. You're too proud. Shut. Need to find another way out. Witches have conjured rain again. Geralt! What is it? Nothing just yet, but something's afoot. Philippa and Margarita want to speak to me. They say about what? No, but I have my suspicions. I bet they have plans for me. And they're deigning to inform me of them. Got nothing to be afraid of. Just go. Listen to what they have to say. And if they try to force me into something? Can't believe you'd ever let them. Margarita's only ever cared about your education. Doubt she'll try to drag you into politics. Philip is tougher plays a mean game, but ultimately respects those who hold to their views. If she makes you an offer, and you firmly turn it down, she'll respect that. Thanks, Carol. Well, go. Don't give him any more time to strategize. Seriously. True. Good decision. Relax. She'll be fine. Rita won't hurt her, but Philippa... She can be ruthless. Siri's been in tougher situations and come out of them all right. True. We managed to instill some principles, skills that have helped. Exactly. So there's nothing to be afraid of. Of course. I'll just have a peek. Knew you couldn't resist. Pots and kettles, Geralt. You were dying to do the same. I saw you. You're the one with your face to the door. Hmm. Which is why I can see what's happening. Let me have a look. In your dreams. What do you see? Philippa pontificating. Siri pacing wall to wall. She stopped. She's saying something. 
Philip has turned pale. What now? Quiet. Here she comes. So? You were eavesdropping. Yes. No. Oh, you haven't changed a bit. Tell us what you talked about. I'd rather not. Not yet, at least. Of course. When you're ready. Take a walk. Get some air. We need to sail to Skellige. Avalok's waiting at the port. Of course. I'll be there soon. Just wanted to... Go meet Avalok. He wished to see you, apparently. How much for the 